Hello everybody, we are now back. Yep, you heard it right. Got back from Rosa Festival in one piece. Just one of the best weekends of my entire life. So proud of uh, my mate Keith for putting it all together, along with all the other talented, wonderful people. It was absolutely quality. I mean, you can just feel the love and passion that went into designing the whole festival, and possibly the highlight was the main stage here. Just absolutely incredible, Just especially at night with the flames and the lasers coming out of the eyes. It was a treat for the senses, if I do say so myself. And I can confirm that yes, Satan was there and his set popped off big time. Top guy and a class act all around. But to get into the chunk of today's video, um, I obviously we'll be talking more about Rosa in, in the future, uh, probably in the next week, where I want to discuss like, what the whole crack is with it. And I've got loads of cool drone footage that my mate got. The most profound thing that actually happened to me at Rosa occurred on the Sunday night where I ingested, to be honest I don't actually know how many I ingested but I, I had quite a few handful of Liber Liberty Caps that me and my mate actually went picking just uh, late last year when it was mushy season. We got a fair bit of them, uh, I'd actually never taken them up until not up until uh, Rosa. Uh, I've only ever taken Cubensis mushrooms before, I believe, which is sort of like the common strain that you find that dealers have uh, around here. But Liberty Caps, if you don't know, not only are they one of the two native species to the UK, along with Amanita muscaria, they're also double the strength of, say, Cubensis mushrooms. And this really plays a big part in, in my trip because I, I, I assumed I assumed that I wasn't having that many, or that maybe the potency of the mushrooms may have faded over the months that we've had them. And Jesus, I could not have been more wrong. These absolutely blew my socks off. This was the most profound, twisted, wicked, strange trip I've ever had in my life, but it's I'm still on an absolute afterglow from it. This is like, if this lasts, this has reconstructed my psyche. I feel so much more positive and so much more accepting and aware of like the pre present the present moment the f not thinking into the future not thinking into the past too much but to start from the beginning yeah what happened was is that yeah on the sunday i mean i've been experimenting with a little bit a few substances over the weekend nothing like too heavy um, i actually got on mdma for the first time in a very long time which was also a really great experience to open me up and um reconnect with my love of that chemical because it really is amazing for treating um depressive depressing thoughts and negativity anxiety etc and they, i don't really get any come downs off mdma at all i just feel absolutely amazing the next day i, just, I feel so open and free so that night i was like right we'll, we'll top it off by scranning a few mushies and quite a few of us did we we're all reaching into the bag and and munching on them and it started coming on within the first like, hour or two uh, because I had quite an empty stomach and it was going really well, it was just very light, we were all giggling and that. So we all walked over to the stag's head stage and we were just boogieing, having a great time and I was saying to my mate H, I was like, oh, so cool these mushrooms aren't they, they just come on so naturally and smoothly, I mean, I had no nausea or anything at all and he was like, yeah, yeah, same here. And then somehow, as soon as I said that, something just triggered in my body and I started to feel unbelievably strange. I had this like, I literally just started like overheating to the point where I thought I was going to pass out. I've actually passed out before from like uh, overheating and not only was this like the, the whole the whole festival, it was in like the middle of the heat wave that we had in the UK and it was fucking hot to be fair. Uh, that probably played a, I played a part in it even though I was absolutely bang on with my fluids and just sorting myself out. It was still massively exhausting no matter what you could do to mitigate it. But it was weird, as soon as I said that, it sort of triggered something in me. And then I just felt like the heat bubbling up and sort of nausea and just gen gen general like pain in my abdomen. It just happened out of nowhere and I was like, right, I need to just run back to the camp now because I'm going to pass out. And I was walking and walking and walking. It's only like two two to three minute walk from where we were camped. It's quite, a, it's quite a small festival, but that was the beauty of it. Everywhere was in walking distance. And as I was walking and, uh, and people were talking to me and like, oh, hey, you all right? You're coming with us to the other stage. I was like, yep, yeah, mate, yeah, I might do in a bit. Because I was just feeling absolutely fucked. And I was walking and walking and my vision was going. Like, all the blood was rushing to my head and everything. I was, I was completely overheating. And I literally, as soon as I got to my tent, I just collapsed into the front, the front porch. And I just fell onto the ground and literally just... I, I, I literally just was like so exhausted 
and thankfully all the heat all the heat from my body just dissipated and it felt absolutely amazing but i literally just did like completely pass out and i was just sprawled across the floor it must have looked like an absolute corpse for anyone walking past so i just laid there and i was like oh help me just in my own head but uh, after a few minutes, I started feeling, feeling a bit better, and I was like, right, I do need, I do need to lay down now. This is obviously coming on quite hard, um, and I obviously took more uh, than I assumed, and I also was, uh, presumed they weren't as strong as they were. So it was a, a recipe for disaster, really. So I went into the into the little uh, sleeping area in uh, in my tent, and I just laid there, and I was just soaking it in. And what was happening was it just kept coming in waves. It was just like extreme nausea and just uncomfortable, horrible, negative thoughts and everything. And just absolutely like negative energy would just like bubble up, bubble up, bubble up. And then it would just dissipate and settle. And I'd be sound again, positive thoughts, feeling great, no nausea, so comfortable. And then after another five minutes or two minutes or whatever, it'd come back on again. And this happened for a good hour and a bit. And it was, it was possibly some of the worst suffering I've been through in my life. This was like deep existential suffering tied in with this physical sense of pain and agony. And I was like, oh my God, I am fucking going mad here. I was having some crazy thoughts about people discovering my dead body in the tent and their reactions to it and just all the horrible like anxious thoughts you get when you're just spiraling out of control. And after a while, I, I say my girlfriend come in, she's like, oh, are you all right, Vivek? And I was like, oh, I don't know, mate, feeling a bit weird. Uh, and she was like, oh, I'll come back soon and look after you. And I was like, nah, you go and have some fun. I'll ride it out. Because I knew it, it knew in the back of my mind, I was like, this is happening for a reason. I felt like I, it, the suffering I was going through was cleansing me in a sense. It was like a healing process, say like in ayahuasca where you're purging. Except I wasn't being sick. I mean, I wanted to be sick because I wanted the suffering to be over. But in a way, I was like, oh, shit, I actually can't move. But I realized after, after quite a while of just literally just suffering through it, sweating my head off and just completely losing my mind i was like right this is trying to show me something isn't it i need to do something about this instead of wallowing in my misery and and pity and suffering that i am right now i need to just take take reality by the balls get out and just embrace it and ride through it and you know what happened as soon as i did that as soon as i got up suffered through the in initial like pain of actually moving because i was just stuck in like the fetal position for ages trying to mitigate any of the any of the suffering as soon as I got out of that tent and started breathing in fresh air and had some water, it just all transmuted into the most positive feeling I've ever had in my life. It was crazy. It was like everything that I was feeling was just washed away. It felt like I was purged, like spiritually in a sense. And I got out and I saw all my mates and everything. And I was like, yes, I'm back in action. And we were like, oh, they've not seen, we've not seen you for so long. And I was like, I know, mate, I've been fucking purging the beast, mate. And uh, so I came out and I was like, fucking love you guys. Let's be having you. And I was still having a little bit of nausea, but it was just every second that I was embracing the love and feeling it. And it was in tune with what was going on. It was heal. It was basically healing the, the suffering that I was going through. And funnily enough, when I got out, one of my other mates, uh, P, he was going for the exact same thing in his tent at the same time, which was so weird. And he got out more or less the same time. And he was like, "Oh, the mushrooms really did me in, you know." But I started to feel a bit better, and I was like, "Mate, I've literally gone for the exact same thing. That's fucking mad, can't." So uh, we went all the way over to the stag stage and then I was experiencing the most insane visuals I've experienced in my life. No fractals, no, no enhanced colours or anything. I was just experiencing pure time dilation, pure hallucinations. It was crazy. It was like the mushrooms in, in, had their own like personality and were in, inside my brain and manipulating reality to give me this weird show. I literally, I was watching people, and they were playing like loads of Donk and Gabba towards the end of it. It was almost like the perfect storm, and everyone was just going like, dun, 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 dun. It was like the tempo slider on reality was uh, was on the max possible level, and people were just w moving in like double speed and everything, if not like triple speed. It was absolutely crazy, and I was turning to my mate, uh, another mate, uh, H, who was on Mushrooms, who I said before, I was like, oh, this is coming on quite smoothly. I said to him, like, mate, I, I, you won't believe what I'm experiencing. I think I'm going experiencing time dilation because everything's like speeding up. And I'd look at my phone and it'd feel like 30 minutes had, had occurred, but I looked and it was only five minutes. I was like, oh, shit, here we go, son. It's happening. So I turned to him and he was experiencing the same thing, but he was pretty pissed and he was like, yeah, I'm experiencing it, but I'm pretty pissed, so it's sort of dulled. And I was like, mate, this is actually insane. 
and the energy it was like it was like i was it was like when i was in the tent it, it, it felt like I was holding on to so much negative energy by not doing anything about it uh, that when I actually did something about it, it was like an outburst of all the energy that I was holding on to, and that's what produced all this, in, all these insane like hallucinations. Well, not even hallucinations, just like t it was just like it was just like reality had been tinkered with in in the most like positive, crazy, wonderful, sped up way, and it was just a complete. Uh, it's just a complete like marvel to behold that everything was just like in double speed and everyone it felt like yeah it, reality was catching up to all the energy uh, i was conserving in the tent if that makes sense it's really hard to explain um and everyone was reacting to it as well like holy fucking shit this is crazy it's actually going off it's popping off boys it was so mad and like keith the main uh, my mate who like one is one of the guys who spearheaded the event he was absolutely going mad he was fucking loving it the energy was absolutely off its head it was one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in my life and uh i, I if i was if if i'd have experienced this years ago when i didn't know about the power of psychedelics and what they can do with to consciousness and reality it probably would have messed me red like well i'm not really liking this time dilation shit mate but i just completely embraced it the weirdness and embraced the strange unexplainable things that i was experiencing i just i was just in love with the present moment and you know what it, it, since then I mean, it's been a few days on from now, and I'm just so accepting of just life and everything, and realizing that when I was suffering in that tent, it was me who was making myself suffer. It was the thoughts I was literally, I was focusing and honing in on the negativity, and it was making it worse and worse and worse. And the psychedelics were amplifying it, and it was really reflecting like how I am on a daily basis. That sometimes I do just like hone in on negative aspects of reality for absolutely no reason, and like thinking about the past for no reason, thinking about what's going to happen in the future. For no reason at all other than the fact that like the ego likes to wander and it really just ironed that out big time and i was just so present so accepting of what's going on um another really beautiful thing was it made it allowed me to connect with my girlfriend even deeper and iron out all the kinks in our relationship um all the things that uh, we want from each other and um establish uh what we want out of our relationship in uh, in the future and it was just beautiful because relationships are hard to like perfect you know like one of the hardest things in the world uh, really to find a really loving partner and have a, a loving experience and I mean we already have a wonderful relationship anyway but it can always get better and, and it allowed me to see like my faults and everything and how I restrict her in, in, in an unconscious fashion and like all of that has just completely washed away it's, it's actually it's actually fantastic and it just shows you that n negative experiences and suffering in life they really are just a catalyst for growth and without them we wouldn't be able to grow and flourish and become deeper people and it, it, just after all that like it's, it was hilarious I turned to my mate uh, Kay and she said oh there's only 25 minutes left and what was the weird thing was literally 20 minutes before that I asked her like how long was left and she said half an hour I was like oh my god you won't believe what I've just experienced and I said to, that to her after after I was fully sober in the next few days and she was like that's insane I cannot believe it I bet you were loving it and I was like yeah it was just it was such a treat it was like consciousness my own consciousness was treating me um, it completely relinquished any fears of like oh I'm all alone in the world, it's all just me, it's all just consciousness, it's like, that is actually, the, the fact that the ego misconstrues that into something negative just says everything about how how hard and how much work you need to put into the spiritual path and how much work you have to put in with psychedelics, you can't just take psychedelics and expect them to show you the answers, you've got to integrate it and this was the first time I feel like I've fully integrated that idea of, yeah, we are, uh, are alone in like the grand scheme of things, but we're so alone that we are ultimately together and that is the most beautiful thing in the world. Like. I felt so unbelievably connected to every single thing that was going on around me, whether like, whether other is real or not, it doesn't matter. And e the fact that, there, it's, say like, if that is the fact of the matter in consciousness, that there is no other, I feel like that is the most beautiful thing because we, again, we're so utterly, deeply, intrinsically connected that we can love each other and there doesn't need to be another because we love ourselves infinitely. And there doesn't need to be another person to suffer. Why would God slash consciousness create all these others that could suffer when realistically there's just one thing that suffers and it does it for itself to grow? It's like every single thing is so beautifully, perfectly designed. I might probably sound like I'm rambling on about crazy shit because I, 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 I'm getting such a 
like, I'm getting such a large following now that I feel like the larger the following, um, the more the more people I attract that don't really understand what's going on and they can be quite egoic. I've seen a lot of comments that are like very reactive about stuff and obviously I don't really I don't really care at the end of the day. Everyone's on their own journey, aren't they? Every every figment of consciousness is on its own journey, back to the source, back to understanding and love and everything. And if you never experienced this, then you probably think I'm crazy and your mind probably fixates on negativity and like, oh my god, if I'm one and everything's one, then that means I'm all these evil people. It's like, yeah, but think of the infinitude of the universe, like the nature of everything, it has to work like this so that it can eventually coalesce into one beautiful thing. It's just journey, it's a journey, like life is a journey, you can experience narrative, I mean, you, we love films and books and stories and games and they have these beautiful narratives and it, there's parallels within the, our own world and realistically, like, what are the best, like, some of the deepest, most profound stories, they teach us a lot about love and, and connection and and things about ourselves that we need to learn and that's exactly what reality is doing with with experience with being it literally being it and the only way to bear someone said something the other day i'll bear it by being it saying like in a psychedelic trip i'll bear the suffering by being it and i felt that's what i did i feel like even though I, I could have pushed myself a bit further and literally only suffered for like half an hour and got out but even so like by me going through that period of agony and coming out at the end of it, it just was the most transformative thing in the world and it just it, it really hammered home that idea that everything is interlinked and that the highest nature of everything is love. So if you're struggling with your trips and everything and integrating all this stuff, just know, just try and remember in the back of your head that this is all part of the grand plan of the universe of consciousness to understand itself in deeper, deeper levels, to love itself deeper and deeper and deeper in every single possible form. And it might be twisted, it might be wicked, it might look, look crazy, but it's all part of the plan. And once, once you experience something like this in psychedelics, it just becomes so clear and I cannot vouch for the, the positive impact of it enough. And yeah, just uh, just some side notes. I was just experiencing so much funny shit. It just felt like consciousness was at its absolute peak, really. Every single one of my mates and me, we were all just like cra wise cracking, putting the best possible tunes on back at the camp. The vibes were just absolutely crazy. One of my other mates was just falling around the whole shop. He was just absolutely off his head, and it was just so funny. It was like a it was like a fucking like circus act. And it's just every single one of my mates is just uh, some of them. They're just the most beautiful people in the world. So. So thankful for them, for my girlfriend, for my life, for my family, for you guys. You're just the best. Thank you for giving me this this opportunity to talk about psychedelics online because there's so much, they're so deep. It goes, it's just so such a complex matter. But I finally feel like sort of the psychedelic renaissance is happening again. It's, it's like it's like the 60s, but at, but times two basically. And yeah, we are in the middle of it right now. So yeah, wishing you all the best, guys. Hope this wasn't an absolute ramble. I hope some of it made sense. But if not, we'll fucking do it again next time. <laughs> right, see you later.